Just very quickly, we're going to take a look at the cholesterol biosynthesis. It happens in four steps. This is a typo that's supposed to be a number two. So as part of this first step, what we're doing is we're taking three acetyl-CoA molecules, three acetyl-CoA molecules, and forming 3-hydroxy-3-methylglutaryl-CoA. And from that, we're producing mevolinate. So step one is the... Uh, the uh, conversion of 3-acetyl-CoA's into mevelinate, and that happens through uh, HMG-CoA synthase and HMG-CoA reductase. Most lipid-lowering drugs target one of these two molecules, and primarily the reductase. Step 2 is uh, adding a CoA and 3 ATPs to form isopentanyl. Step 3 six isopentanyl of pyrophosphates to produce squalene and then the last step is the cyclization of squalene to cholesterol. Now here is each of those steps expanded quite a, uh, expanded just a little bit so as you saw we have two molecules of co uh, acetyl-CoA uh, get converted into acetoacetyl-CoA then a third molecule of acetyl-CoA gets um, added to that with a uh, HMG CoA uh, synthase to pr to produce HMG CoA, and then through the reductase we get the uh, mevolinate. After that, um, the mevolinate goes through the addition of three ATPs and a decarboxylation step to produce to produce isopentanyl pyrophosphate. And then the isomer of isopentanyl pyrophosphate is produced. Then that isomer gets added with two more, uh, two more isopentanyl pyrophosphates to produce farnesyl uh, pyrophosphate. And then the farnesyl pyrophosphate gets combined with another farnesyl pyrophosphate to produce squalene. The last step is to kind of fold all of these up in uh, cyclization. So dietary uptake of cholesterol only represents a small fraction of our body's total daily cholesterol. The liver produces almost three to five times as much cholesterol each day. This is kind of important because if you're trying to reduce somebody's cholesterol, if it's two times higher than it needs to be, then just cutting out cholesterol from the food isn't going to work in reducing their overall cholesterol. You're going to have to do something uh, to, to prevent the liver from producing the cholesterol. Now, HMG-CoA HMG -CoA reductase is the primary uh, enzyme that we... That is control that controls the production of cholesterol and that can be controlled at the transcriptional and translational levels at the enzyme stability and by covalent modifications and finally the last thing I want to say about uh, cholesterol is cholesterol isn't bad too much cholesterol is bad cholesterol is needed so you have to have cholesterol to produce uh, testosterone and estro estrogen for example corticosteroids such as uh, um, an aldosterone so your kidneys have to have aldosterone for reabsorption is used to make cortisols so all these things are important in your body um, you just don't want to have too much